Have you ever seen something so magnificent and breathtaking that it made you want to cry? All of the places on this list inspire that kind of reaction, and it all has to do with incredible geological formations and how they came to be. Get your tissues out and put on a sweater, because you're most definitely going to get the chills. Sit back, relax, and get ready for Earth's most beautiful geological wonders. 10. Prykastun This incredibly beautiful location can be found in a municipality called Forsand in Norway. It's often called Pulpit Rock, Preacher's Pulpit, and Preacher's Chair, and it's not hard to see why. This tourist attraction is a massive cliff that juts out above a fjord called Lysa Fjorden and stands 1,982 feet or 604 meters high. The cliff features a giant 82 by 82 foot or 25 by 25 meter nearly flat top that hundreds of thousands of people visit every year. In 2012 alone, between 150 and 200,000 brave souls walked out onto Preikastolen to take in the breathtaking views and look out at the majesty of Norway. It's one of Norway's most visited and beloved tourist attractions and natural wonders. And it's got something for everyone, from simple sightseers and photographers to base-jumping daredevils. It was formed around 10,000 years ago, in the latest ice age, by a glacier that reached all the way to the cliff's edge. Water from the glacier froze in crevices in the rock and broke off giant, angular blocks, leaving behind what we see today. 9. Mount Roraima this Tapui Plateau is the tallest in the Pacarema chain in South America and stands right around 1,300 feet or 400 meters tall. It has a 12 square mile or 31 square kilometer summit and was first described during the 1595 expedition of Sir Walter Raleigh, an English explorer. It's located in the very southeastern corner of Venezuela's Canema National Park and forms a border between Brazil, Venezuela, and Guiana. It is the highest point in Roraima, a state in Brazil, and the highest point in all of Guiana, although Brazil and Venezuela have higher points elsewhere. Hikers wishing to reach the top must climb up a forested ramp, the same forested ramp Sir Everard M. Thorne walked up during the first ascent of the mountain in 1884. There is a route in from Venezuela called the Perai Tapui route, which is the only other route visitors can take without needing climbing gear. The mountain is significant and central to many legends and myths of the indigenous people in the area and is said to have been the inspiration for Paradise Falls in the animated movie, Up. 8. Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park The western coast of the island of Palawan in the Philippines is where this incredible protected area is located. If you head about 50 miles or 80 kilometers north from the city of Puerto Princesa, you'll come across the park, which is managed by the Puerto Princesa government. Nestled within the St. Paul mountain range, this geological wonder is also sometimes called Puerto Princesa Underground River. The formations and scenery in the area are incredible and features a mountainous karst landscape made from limestone. Here, visitors will find the 15-mile or 24-kilometer long St. Paul's Underground River Cave, which features a portion of the Cabawagan River that runs underground for 5.1 miles or 8.2 kilometers. The cave can be accessed via a boat on the river, and inside there are many giant stalagmite and stalactite formations. The Italian's chamber is also found inside, and is one of the largest known cave rooms on the planet. In 2012, it was voted a new Seven Wonders of Nature, and in 1999, it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 7. Colca Canyon In southern Peru, one will find a canyon formed by the Colca River, approximately 99 miles, or 160 kilometers, to the northwest of Arequipa. The canyon itself drops down a massive 10,730 feet, or 3,270 meters, and roughly 120,000 people visit it every year, which makes it the third most visited destination in all of Peru. The surrounding Colca Valley is a beautiful Andean valley, featuring many colors and crazy variations in landscape. The area is still home to the Cabana and Calaguay people, who still farmed the Andinas, or steep terraces. Livestock, which typically consist of llamas, alpacas, dairy cows, and sheep, are also raised in the area, but usually above where the farming takes place, around an elevation of 11,500 feet, or 3,500 meters. There are caves, natural cold and hot springs, pieces of rock art, as well as populations of animals of all kinds around the area, and it's the perfect place to visit to not only learn about the Earth, but to explore to your heart's content as well. 6. Meteor Crater National Landmark If you think this crater got its name because it's where a meteor or meteorite once struck, you'd be part right. That did happen there, 
but there's also a post office nearby called Meteor, and the United States Board on Geographic Names sometimes names natural features after the closest post office. Thus, Meteor Crater. It's located in Arizona, around 18 miles or 29 kilometers west of the town of Winslow, and east of Flagstaff, about 37 miles or 60 kilometers. At one point, it was called Canyon Diablo Crater, and the meteor that made it, Canyon Diablo Meteorite. Daniel Berenger, a geologist, was the first to state that maybe it was caused by a meteor impact. So, in the science community, it's sometimes called Berenger Crater in his honor. The crater runs 560 feet, or 170 meters deep, and its diameter measures roughly 3,900 feet, or 1,200 meters. The iron-nickel meteorite, believed to have blasted it out of the ground, would have measured 160 feet, or 50 meters across, and it struck the Earth about 50,000 years ago. It's a popular tourist destination, and features a host of activities and exhibits for the whole family to enjoy. 5. Brystone Bay this gorgeous bit of coastline is in England's Isle of Wight along the southwest coast. A village called Brystone is not far northeast from Brystone Bay, and it is from the village that the open bay takes its name. There is 4.3 miles or 7 kilometers worth of gently curving shoreline in the bay, which faces out towards the English Channel to the southwest. It begins in the north at Sudmore Point and runs southeast down to Arthurfield Point. It's suffering fairly heavily from coastal erosion, but it's not alone. The Isle of Wight's entire southwest coastline is being eroded away throughout time. Brystone Ledge, one of many such ledges jutting out from the back of the Wight, has been the location of plenty of shipwrecks due to storms pushing ships onto the mostly hidden rocks. There is a beach though, and it's made up of mostly shingle, which means it's covered in cobblestones and pebbles. The best way to see this fantastic natural feature? From the Isle of Wight coastal path at the top of the cliffs overlooking the entire area. 4. Donakil Depression This crazy-looking landscape can be found in Ethiopia, in the Afar Triangle's northern portion, close to the border with Eritrea. The depression was formed by three tectonic plates diverging in the Horn of Africa. It's the meeting point of the three plates, and also the area they are separating as Africa and Asia move apart. These movements have caused plenty of volcanic activity in the area, and, as you can see, lots of rifting. The rifts here show up in the form of cracks, breaks, and fissures in the Earth's surface along the plain which measures around 124 by 31 miles, or 200 by 50 kilometers. It rests 420 feet, or 125 meters below sea level, and based on average temperatures throughout the year, the Donakil Depression is the hottest place on the planet. The Awash River, one of Ethiopia's major rivers, dries up here and forms a number of salt lakes and never quite reaches the Indian Ocean. There are two active volcanoes in the depression, Irta Ale and Mount Ayalu, as well as the Dalo Sulphur Springs, and many tourists come to the area every year to see the alien-like environment. 3. Ankarana Reserve For our next excellent geological area, we have to look in Madagascar, about 18 miles or 29 kilometers to the northeast of Ambulobe, and 67 miles or 108 kilometers southwest of Anse Ranana. This plateau is made up of limestone from the Middle Jurassic that dates back to around 150 million years ago. There are underground rivers and many caves in the area, which are formed by erosion due to the amounts of rain the area gets, about 76 inches or 2,000 millimeters worth every year. The plateau rises gently from the eastern side, but on the west, it ends in a sheer cliff, known as the Wall of Ankarana. At times, the cliff reaches 920 feet or 280 meters in height, and runs 16 miles, or 25 kilometers, north to south. There are deep gorges in the center of the plateau, formed by the dissolving of limestone by rainfall over the aeons, and fairly heavy seismic activity. There are also many sinkholes in the karst region of Ankara, but one in particular, Mangali Sinkhole, stands out, as it is 460 feet, or 140 meters deep, and measures 2300 feet, or 700 meters across. The reserve was created in 1956, and is enjoyed by many since its opening. 2. Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument This is perhaps the most famous and probably the most popular geological wonder on this list. Mount St. Helens was shot into the international spotlight back in 1980 when it literally blew its top and became the most economically damaging and deadly volcanic event in United States history. The 110,000 acre or 445 square kilometer monument was established by President Ronald Reagan two years after the explosive event in 1982 and serves as a place of education, recreation, and scientific research. 
the environment in the monument has been left mostly untouched, giving Earth's natural processes the ability to respond to the event without much human intervention. There are many picnic areas, trails, campgrounds, and viewpoints in the monument, including Windy Ridge, which allows visitors to drive within 4 miles, or 6.4 kilometers, of the crater itself. There's a beautiful visitor center around 30 miles or 48 kilometers west of the mountain, as well as a science and learning center a little over two hours away by car. There's also Johnston Ridge Observatory, just four miles from the mountain, which stands near the campsite of David A. Johnston, who was a volcanologist killed in the eruption. We've seen some pretty amazing geological locations around the world so far, and we still have one more to go. But first, we'd like to ask you, what is your favorite beautiful place in the world to visit? Where have you been that completely took your breath away? Let us know in the comments below, as we may be able to use it in a future video. 1. Thrinoka Giger We just looked at the aftermath of an intense volcanic eruption, but have you ever wondered what the inside of a volcano is really like? Well, you can tour this hard-to-pronounce dormant volcano that's located not far from Reykjavik, Iceland. It last erupted about 4,000 years ago and was first found by Arne B. Stiafonsen, a cave explorer, in 1974 and was finally open to tourists in 2012. This is the only location on Earth where people are able to descend into the magma chamber of a volcano and they have an elevator to deliver you to it. The magma from the chamber is thought to have drained away, basically blowing the minds of most scientists, but it's allowed for the visitation and study of the volcano. It's fascinating and beautiful. And, if you've got travel to the inside of a volcano on your bucket list, this is the place you can go to check it off. If you dug this video, do us a favor and give it a like. Subscribe to our channel below, or by clicking on our logo right here so that you can keep up with all of our excellent uploads. And, be sure to check out this next video we picked out just for you.